So Joel, congratulations, progression in the EFL Trophy. How do you see that win over Charleston? Yeah, I think it was a, was a great win, a uh, great feeling, you know. Uh, in this cup, you never know what to, to expect. And uh, it was a tough game at times, but uh, going to penalties and win it, uh, I think it's a good sensation for, for the squad. And hopefully we can continue and uh, have a great uh, run in this cup. And obviously talking about the penalties there, you were the star of the show, you might say, you saved that first one. Was that something that you've been working on? Uh, yeah, I think you've been a couple of times in the training ground, you've seen me practice those penalties. So 100% is something that I, I really like to, to practice after training. And uh, yeah, like any goalkeeper uh, loves a penalty shootout and hopefully it goes your way. Luckily today it went uh, on our side, we won it. I was able to, to make a save and it feels great. Obviously, as a goalkeeper, do you love penalty shootouts or is it something you're not looking forward to? I personally, I love it, yeah. Uh, to be honest, like the last 10 minutes, I was just thinking like, let's go on penalties and uh, hopefully I can save a few, you know. Uh, it's something I really enjoy it and uh, yeah, luckily we won today. I guess as a goalkeeper, it gives you sort of a rare opportunity to get in the limelight, doesn't it? Yeah, 100%, as like you said, like, now I look like the hero of the match, but uh, you know, the, the, there's been a fantastic uh, guys, oh, guys who played fantastic. Charlie scored a beautiful goal. Uh, some guys put a great performance, but now uh, people remember uh, the penalties, yeah. And obviously you made the most of that limelight. I, I saw you pulled out some sort of roly-poly <laughs> celebration, was it? Yeah, I think uh, the emotions got the best out of yeah. me. Uh, yeah, I was just... What was, I don't know what was coming through my mind at that moment, but just went with the flow, yeah. And obviously for you, it's back-to-back it's -back games now. Um, how does that feel for you? Obviously, I know that you had a bit of a period at the start of the season where you weren't actually signed to the club, but, but now does it feel good to actually be able to contribute on the pitch? Yeah, 100%, you know, I've been uh, looking forward to, to moments like this, you know. Uh, I missed, and any player wants to, to play every game, you know, and uh, obviously I'm one of them. So being able to play back to back just feels uh, great. Reminds me how good it is uh, playing football, you know, and uh, just give me extra motivation to, to keep working hard and uh, be ready if uh, any more opportunities come my way. And how important was this result tonight based on the disappointment of Sunday Eastleigh? Yeah, I think it was uh, very important, you know, uh, we've had uh, two great uh, league games, last two league games we've won. Uh, we were unfortunate Sunday uh, in the FA Cup and I think it was very important to, to get back to, to winning ways and get to the next round. I think this will give extra motivation to, to players, also to fans and uh, hopefully we can all be uh, uh, ready for Sunday, uh, Saturday. Sorry. And I think there's eight games now uh, and the last one being on New Year's Day in, in, a, in a short period. So do moments like this, winning on penalties, sort of build that momentum in the squad that's so necessary through this festive period? Yeah, I think like uh, it's going to be a very busy period and uh, I think it's more being a winning strike uh, gives you the motivation to to make it a, a great month, you know. Uh, like you say, we have eight more games and hopefully we can get the best out of them uh, and have a fantastic month and we know the importance of of one week, how, how things can change, you know, we won the last two league games and uh, we went up in the league, so we know that uh, these next eight games can be very important in such a short period of time. And that period starts on Saturday with Barnsley here at the Select Car. How do you see that game? Uh, I just want my team to, to go out there, give their best, be ready. And uh, I know that we have the quality to, to win any game in, in this league, you know. Uh, we have a fantastic group, uh, we have so much talent, we have uh, everything uh, we need. Just need to some time, I guess, but hopefully things will change, things will come our way. Uh, decisions uh, and results and goals and hopefully we can uh, build something strong from now on. Just I've got two more questions. So um, you, you have a nickname. Uh, El Gato. Yeah. What, what's the background of that? Uh, so when I was very young in my first club, um, I just went single for the first time and my manager uh, at the time uh, gave me this nickname and uh, then I joined United and I, have, I had it in my gloves and I still have it in my gloves right in uh, El Gato and I think it was uh, Juan Mata who saw it for the first time. 
And uh, from, now, from that time, just st people started to call me El Gato, and even around the change room, that was my, my name. <laughs> And just the last question, obviously, you, you've built up quite a good relationship with the fans based on that roly-poly. <laughs> um, do you have like a message for the fans that were here tonight, brave the cold, and, and are thinking about coming on Saturday? Yeah, I just want to, to say thank you to, to them for the great support. Uh, we know how, how tough it's been this season, and uh, they've been supporting us uh, all, all the way through, coming away to games. Uh, I can remember we come away, they were fantastic. And uh, yeah, just uh, say thank you to them and uh, please stick, uh, stick with us. We are not done yet. We, the season is long. Like we say, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. So hopefully we can stick together and uh, I hope they know that we are all in this together and uh, hopefully some, by the end of the year we're going to have some great memories.